Hi, friends. Um, I was getting ready to say, hello, my beautiful fountain pen friends. But um, <laughs> that's the wrong channel. <laughs> so I want to do a currently inked because I feel like I want to ink another pen. So we're going to examine that position. And partly that might be because I've cleaned out three pens in the last couple days. Um, also, maybe just to get bored. So, this is my little Hobonichi Weeks. And we're going to go to the back. And over here, we'll do a currently inked. Let's hope I can remember what they are. Okay. So, what is this? This is a currently inked January 2023. <laughs> Apparently I just got a Discord message. So, starting, this is the one in my hand, to like Simone, color in a little box. <laughs> This is my Twisby Eco Pink with the EF nib. And the ink is. This <laughs> is killing me. I've not had messages in forever. And oh, it doesn't matter. Ackerman. Hopefully, you can hear them so you know why I'm laughing, but it doesn't really matter, does it? So, Ackerman Polkery Pink. This is going to be inked forever because it's an extra fine nib to wear like maybe I'll switch out the nib so it goes faster or maybe I'll unink it you know I don't know not right now I'm not gonna unink it and then to mix things up let's look at this one next <laughs> okay color in the box this is a Franklin Kristoff 45 with a broad signib and the ink is Iro Shizuku Tsukiyo. So the reality is that I like cooler pinks more than I like warmer pinks. So, this is a very warm pink pen. <laughs> like, it's warmer than this one. But I put the cooler pink in it. Because I was like, the Polkery pink is a, is a warmer pink than I had hoped for. I was like, oh, well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, and then... On January 1st, I was starting a new journal, like my five-year Hobonichi journal, and I'm like, what pen? So I inked up a new pen because I was, I thought, what am I starting this year with? So I went with my Santini, Italia, Libra, and the Fifth Avenue, and I went sort of basic. I went with the ink that, that fairly well, well matches it. Teeny Libra, the medium, and the ink is Perpens Porth Kerno Cove. One day I'm going to go to Porth Kerno Cove and to Pure Pens. Probably not the same day because they're kind of far apart. Um, this one requires some movement, so I was like, oh no, I smudged it. Wait, I did actually. What happened here? What did you do? Oh, that was from over there. Shh, shh. Why are you blaming the people, Maria? It's raining outside to make for a change from never. Simone, I'm glad I stole your idea. 
Um, this is what? Oh yeah. Twisby Diamond 580 Iris Broad. And this is Dominant Industry Midnight. There's ink on the nib. Is there ink in the cap? No. Now there's no ink on the nib. Um, I love this one. Um, and next up, we'll go to this one because it's the one I picked up. I should have done this one before that one. Uh, this is my platinum place here. Black Mist, I think that's what it's called. 0 0.5, it's a medium. And the ink is KWZ Turquoise. I like this, partly it's a good noise. Partly smells delicious. Partly, I don't know, look. I should have put those in the other order, shouldn't I? It doesn't matter. I can have them whatever order I want. I'm gonna do this one next, even though I could do the other one. Then we have here, um, Twisby Eco Black, uh-oh. This has been sitting without being used for too many days. Broad ink is Colorverse Shiny Black, which does not like sitting. The pen and ink combination does not like sitting being not used. When it does, it comes out looking a little bit anemic. And then lastly, because somebody wanted a review on this pen. So I've been writing with it to formulate my thoughts. My understated um, the new Grand Scepter. What nib did I put on this? This must be the one it came with. And the ink is Sailor Mano Fuji. Spoilers, this is such a juicy combination. Um, I really dig that about it. Okay, so look. You know what it is? I don't have a good, like, blue pin in here. I have teal pin. This is looking bluer on the camera, but it's teal. Um, what am I missing? Do we need to ink one up? I'm gonna get my pins and look at them. You know, I think it might be like analysis paralysis or the paralysis of choice. Um, I used to manage a jewelry store and I would encounter that frequently in customers where we had too many things for them to, to, to really process. Like if you have only, you only want to spend a little bit of time and you want to buy somebody a thing and then there's all of the things in the store. Like there would be hundreds of items, uh, hundreds, maybe at least a hundred items in just one case. And there were so many cases throughout the store. That's too much to take in. And so if I couldn't show them something quickly, it, it was too much and they would have to leave. Um, at any rate, I didn't understand it when I started working there, but I certainly understood it before I stopped. So I think that's what I'm thinking about now. Knitters 
and maybe soloists have this concept of deep stash. So we tend to acquire yarn and you're going to use it and then something happens and you don't use it for the thing you thought you'd use it for or maybe you bought it because you're like, you know what, I just really love this and one day I'll find the right project. But what happens is then you have another project in mind and so you're like, oh, okay, I need to go get yarn for this project and you buy a new, anyway. So you have stash that is a decade or more old. Um, deep stash. <laughs> and I think I'm feeling that with my inks. Oh, look, there's ink in the cat. Anyway, sh Maria, we're not looking at that. Is Should I look at, like, one of the inks that's maybe, like, deep stash? These, by the way, are the inks that I own, which feels, obs like, obscene and too much sometimes. And then sometimes I think, but I don't quite own every single possible shade of blue, so it can't be too much. And then these are my samples. I don't actually still have all of these necessarily. Um, this is only, these don't include any samples that I have set aside for more like 30 ink shenanigans. So if we look at the pins I have here, I hope you don't mind. We're chatting through my thought process. What pins am I missing? You know what I really feel like I don't have here? I don't have enough Twisby pins here. And especially the Ecos. JK, friends, JK. Um, you know what we're missing is a hand-turned small maker pin. With this sort of exception maybe of this Bennu. Right, like look, right here. Oh gosh, this is the most beautiful. This is why I put these here. So when I open it up, my lovelies, oh, you're so gorgeous. I, you know what I was thinking is, the other thing is to look at what was in my last currently inked. I know that some people would tell me I'm missing an orange or yellow, but let me try to promise you, I'm not missing it. So this was last time, what's still inked? The Polkery Pink, the Colorverse Shiny Black, the Placier, and the 580 Iris. I just cleaned out the Hexo, the Sapphire was maybe last week, and the, I just cleaned out the Tsukiyo the, in my Cerulean Blue Ego. So here's this current one. So, okay. I don't want to like, I tend to, here's a question for you. If you have to think through a process, are you an out loud thinker? Where if you can talk it through... Even if no one is there, that helps you? Or are you a quiet thinker and when people talk, you're like, Shh, please, I'm trying to think. Curious. Because I actually feel like that could be a relationship killer. Um, <laughs> having a, a disagreement in that space. Um, or a conflict of needs. Because I am more of a quiet thinker. So I'm looking through my pens right now, and I can try and talk you through my process, is, is really, I suppose, I'm trying to convince myself to not just use one of these hand-turned pens. I'm trying to say, like, oh, but look at that Lamy's that you have. Don't you love those? Um, oh, speaking of which, did you see the new colors of Lamy's that are for, like, do you think they're going to put out the ink? I talked about this elsewhere, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope they put out that ink, right? Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry. Um, okay, so here's a, this is a tempting possibility. This uh, X750, because it makes a good click, but also... I replaced the nib like right before cleaning it. It had almost no ink left and I thought, well, before blah, 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 maybe I'll put a new nib in it. So it has a broad nib in it now. 
And so I feel like I don't really know this pen yet because the first nib was like so dry and unpleasant and just not me. So that makes a compelling argument why I should use that one. Then we have these and their compelling argument is look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh. Broadnib, 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 broadnib. Broad nib. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, these aren't all broad nibs. In fact, wait, wait, wait. I have seven pens inked, and three of them are not broad. Look at me. Then we have my little German pen friends right here. My two Pelican, my two Coveco, and my Faber Castell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like this Go is never going to be the same after I put Stragoli in it. I don't regret it. I love that ink. This pen, I'm glad I have it, but I want to use it. I want to want to use it more than I want to use it. And we have Twisbees. So the Twisbees are compelling because sparkly. I only have, oh, I was gonna say one sparkly ink, but I have two sparkly inks. But they're both dark sparklies. So like I could do a light sparkly, but then I would not put a sparkly in one of these. But it's obscene to ink another Twisby. Just obscene. Also, if like, the, like, what does it say about how expensive many of my pens are, and yet the ones that I like are my workhorses are some of my least expensive pens. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I'm, you know, expensive pen, ooh, like, psh, get over it. Some of these other pens are phenomenal. I really love this Coleco Perkeo. And not just because it has a clear feed, though I gotta be honest, this clear feed is amazing. Also, ugh, I was gonna paint my nails and I didn't. Don't look at them. Um, okay. All right, I've gotta pause now so that I can actually think, because I was talking through how I'm theoretically thinking, but like while I'm talking, I mean, actually it's kind of true that most people are not actually thinking while they're talking. They're talking while they're talking, and the thinking comes before and after. So, deep, big brain thoughts. Okay, we're back. Um, I think I picked a pen and ink. Well, I did pick a pen and ink. I made a compelling argument to myself about this pen. So I'm going with it. Like, I don't know, is it gonna be a wet writer, a dry writer? Like, the nib was really dry and unpleasant, but that doesn't mean, you know, we know anything about the feed, etc. So, here we are. And then, I'll be honest, I sort of was like, mm, hemming and hawing between two inks, and I went with this ink, but I kind of feel like I should have gone with a different one, because it looks like a sparkly sky. And so then the part of me that went, was like, oh, pillars of creation. But that's kind of a hassle to get that box, and I just didn't feel like it. And I wanted to use this one instead. So this is my Kiwi Inks Trey Calori. This is called Gold Sheen Violet. To me, the sheen is green. Well, that was a very good fill right there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, glorious. Great job, Maria. Great job. Okay, we're going to carefully, carefully make a mess as we try to just mm -hmm, get some of the air out. Oh, yeah. Okay, try again. Okay, that's as much of a fill as we're getting, I guess. 
that's fine. Some people would be annoyed by that, but to me, this is going to be a sign that this is how much we're supposed to have in here. I've been playing a game all day, and I was like, Maria, you need to stop. You should do some other stuff. So I did stop, and I have a book I'm supposed to read, but I'll be honest. I'm going to play the game again. I mean, I guess it's not true. I've been playing all day. I went on a hike and got rained on. It was fun. It's fine. I need to reapply the waterproofing to my waterproof clothes. It turns out. I discovered that on the walk, which was useful. Um, my experience with Google and the weather is that it's typically off by an hour. And I knew that and went anyway. Okay, here we are. So, here's our newest pen that is now inked. So here we have a Jinhao X750 with a broad nib. Apparently ink on this section. And the ink is Kiwi inks tray calori gold sheen violet like this is like too juicy too juicy we'll see if that remains the case it's always like really juicy right after you fill obviously Y'all know that. Y'all know that. I don't have to tell you. If you're watching this, you probably know that. So, this might be a very, very wet pen. And if it is, that's glorious. Because you know what's really great in really, like, flowy pens? These, like, super dry, multi-chromatic, blah, 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 blah inks. Like the Sailor uh, Manyo Fuji. Which is funny because one of the other inks I was thinking of putting in here is the other one that I got. Sailor Manyo Koke. But I guess that'll be next time. So look at this though. It, the problem with these really wet writers is that this is no longer that color anymore. This is just sheen. So we'll see. I mean, at the very least, it's not super full. <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out with me in this super... Um, well, words fail me for the word that I was going to use. Indulgent. Is that the word? Anyway, for indulging me... With my um, currently today, I hope you had fun listening to me ramble. Simone, I'm still missing an orange or a yellow. I mean, that's not going to be surprising, though, because I have exactly one yellow and exactly one orange. So... Golden Barrel is amazing, but it's not always that kind of a pen day. Um, <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands. Thank you again. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Um, and take care of yourselves. Bye.